Before we start the video, this is my current setup. There's no capture card anywhere in sight. I just want to put this little recording to show you that I'm not using a capture card whatsoever. And sorry for it not focusing for a second. I don't know what happened there. Now let's get started with the video. Hello and welcome to my video on how to stream without using a capture card on the Xbox One while using OBS Studios. As you can see, we're on my starting starting soon screen. You can find this picture on Google. I I haven't I'll if I, yeah, I find the picture on Google. As you see, like how I always start my I always start my stream, like starting soon screen, like start getting everything prepped up and all that. First thing you want to do is add a new scene. We're gonna call this test scene, just for the sake of the video. You can call the scene whatever you want. You can call it I don't know, like how I have Monster Hunter, Tales of Vesporia, Osu, Aim Lab. Those are for all different games. But Osu and Aim Labs are for the p computer. We're going to be focusing on games that can be used on Xbox One. So, okay. And next thing you want to do is you get the Xbox Console Companion app. You, uh, since I already have it downloaded, since I've streamed on Xbox multiple times, I already have it uh, downloaded. You would press the download button. I will provide a link to this in the description below. In, in, the, in the description below, you, you wait for it to install. Like, okay, if it is installing, depend, depending on how long it takes for it to install, once it is installing, you launch it. We don't need this anymore. That. And then you go to uh, connections. Like you have for this to work, you have to have both your laptop, your 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 computer, and the Xbox One connected to the same Wi-Fi source. And what do I mean by the same Wi-Fi source? I mean like uh, this. Like this is just for the sake of example. Say if you have this, like this is a a, a Wi-Fi phone that probably doesn't exist. If it does, count my lucky. I win lottery. <laughs> and this in the same name, but with 5G on it. If the 5G is connected to, if the computer is connected to the 5G, or whatever the Xbox One is connected to, you connect that to, you connect the computer to that. So let's say, uh, I don't know, I put computer here because I got to fix up. Let's say Xbox is connected. Sorry. Xbox is connected to the 5G, then you would connect the computer to the 5G one. If the Xbox One is connected to here, non 5G one you connect it to the non 5G one once that's connect once both uh, uh, computer and Xbox one are connected to the same source you go to add device since my Xbox is already added we'll, but we'll, for, we'll make it forget it for the sake of this example go to add device once both the laptop and the Xbox One are connected to the same source. Um, where is it? Um, you go. It's like this is my Xbox. Once it's once both, uh, you'll know both of them are connected to the same Wi-Fi if you see your console. Like I left mine by default because I just don't know. What, I don't. I don't want to. I don't mess with that. You click here, connect, and if it's not listed, you put it, of course you enter your console's IP. Then you click stream, and while that is there, of course we have to I minimize this. Press continue, and then we go to our OBS Studios. We, you still go to the scene that you want to use for the game you're going to stream. Normally, I use this display capture, which caused a bunch of this. I didn't like this, but we're not using that. We're not using display capture. We are going to use a uh, Windows capture. Let's call this a uh, test uh, source. But you can name it whatever you want. I'll name it test source just for the sake of the video. 
what you want like you have what you want to do is of course like say it's on something else you put it on, click here Xbox app.exe Xbox console uh, companion leave this all the same for the sake of the video I'm gonna have cursor captured but if you want to you can uncheck you can uh, uncheck mark that so the cursor so the cursor is not captured you go like this you press OK and here's it is here it is of course it's going to be like this since it's like this maximize it a bit it's going it's going to it's going to scale up to, as well so you can be like that but i like to have it like this so i could be able to look at obs and this of course it's going to be like that so what you want to do is like what you want to do is uh, like go like this and basically uh, size it up so it cover the whole screen if you want. Unless you have other stuff you want to have on the side. We're going to test it out with the Monster Hunt. What would normally do. And the cool thing about this is, let's go back to the feedback. Like, oh, guys, I'll be right back. You notice how the, there was a yellow uh, border when I was on testing. There's no longer a yellow uh, border around. This if you have it like this sorry like this the yellow border is a sign of basically you are on the scene that, that you have it for so like uh so sometimes chat will say you're still in the BR back screen with the other method of uh, display capture I would not know if I'm on the BR back screen unless I press my hotkeys I have for it if you guys want I'll probably do the tutorial on how to set up hotkeys for, for your stream stuff later on another video and we go back to test uh, scene the yellow border is back sh showing that you are uh, showing this on stream and this this can be used for anything on stream video making doesn't have to be for stream it can be for videos now the reason I went back to the uh, be our back screen is because I'm gonna get like say my tip my tip ticker. Why well, have for uh, just for people so, so I can see who tipped. You paste it, and as you can see, you can see the tip ticker. You can move it around at, uh, while on the scene. So you, instead of going, oh, I need to see something, you would go like, like this, or I will add display capture. You go like this. And you have to basically move this to the side just so you can see the scene. Just so you can see the scene of the of the of what you're streaming. This method gets rid of having to deal with this. Yeah, a little stream stuff is fun, but when you're trying to actually do something good, so you do that. When you try to become your best, you want to have as little stream steps as possible. Or over like over. Uh, over exception stuff whenever you record a video. Of course, you won't use tip ticker when recording video, but just for the sake of like streaming and other stuff. Of course, you can add like chat box it's the same way. You just basically go like this, copy, go to the scene, and just press paste right here. And of course, you have to put chat like chat box like this over so show. Oh wait, I don't know if it's in the loop. Tip ticker, so right there. And what you want to do? Is, okay, we'll start off with some monster hunter, so I can show you how this like this works. And I'm like, all right, monster hunter is working. You keep it like this, so it can kind of sh show. Okay, I got poor network quality. Like, so th this happens when I'm on stream. I have poor network qual. I have a I have a network quality problem. And sometimes this happens. We lost connection to your console. Run the streaming test to get suggestions about about how to make streaming better. Just press OK and 
normally what I do is just go back to start stream. I will go to stream. Press continue. Come on. We go back to this. Like have a minimum like this. This is my pre this is prefer I prefer this. Just so I can see, you know, when I'm peaking, I'm like, okay, need to turn down the audio. Then we'll just run around in this. And of course if you're streaming, you can have your chat box, your all the other stuff that I have when I start stream, like the uh, little bar that says who subbed, who hosted, who rated, who followed. Your little follower, uh, a little alert box thingy, which I use to keep in the center. Donation goals, if you have one. Donation slash uh, sub goal. And see, the game is loading perfectly fine. Not, uh, per perfectly fine for me, but it may, may uh, either may or may not cause some problems. But it's, it's loading. See? You can hear. Like it's loading fine. I'm clicking. Ah, uh, sorry if it was so too loud. Or me clicking. I was trying to prove that I was doing it. See, we can run around perfectly fine. I'll do like a let's like, like a small like, sh like a short mission. And I join quest. I want to join. Let's just show it. Let's do this. Look, see, you can remember fine. I don't know why I started doing a quest. Because it was so it was fine. Not this quest. Let's do it on those. Look, see, it works really fine. Like I'll, uh, I'll go on explorations, like a small exploration to show. It working. So I done some videos already have like, oh, it works. <laughs> I was just gonna use my mouse to drag it, drag myself to, to somewhere to somewhere here. Go into forest camp. I was showing that how it uh, works. It's like on the, and say if you're playing a game like oh, if you're streaming a game like oh, the tip ticker is blocking some uh, in, some uh, uh it's blocking some stuff some info that chat can't see. You can move it around so if so it's not blo so it blocks like either stuff that's not too important. Like you can move it around. But for now, I like to keep my, uh, for me. I like to keep my uh, my donation ticker in the center bottom. Ah, and be careful. Sometimes you'll do that. If you don't, if you're not careful, you'll accidentally click. And uh, cause that to happen. So what you want to do to prevent that from actually accidentally clicking and going like that? You see, you just you see, cause that just like a bit. Okay, so you don't accidentally move your thing. Is you just click on something else, or just click down here? Click down here, just so you don't act, so you just don't have any of this up. And of course, you can say if you don't like this size, like default size, of this, you can uh, stretch stretch this. You can stretch this, and it will affect the that. Now I'll, try, I'll keep it stuff at default size. That out and then go out, like normally I don't have stuff I don't have it like this like I have it somewhat try to have it perfectly you know so it's not showing so like a little bit of uh, black edge not showing 
Är du se? Jag har kvar. And I'll show off another game too. There is. Let me just move. Click out that so I don't accidentally move it again. I'm gonna showcase another game. As well. And you're like, oh. I accidentally moved the ticker. That's blocking something. Go like that. Ah. Uh -huh. Not, it's not covering the little part. And don't forget to follow me at twitch.tv. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's not, it's not the end of the video yet. I haven't done YouTube business in a while. Okay, so we're going to quit with the title and always save. So we'll quit Monster Hunt. Then we'll go to another game, Night Call, which is a game I usually play. I play, uh, like off stream because I don't think anyone would be into it I don't know if people would be into an investigation type game of course that that might happen necro quality problems I'll go here and just press continue because I'm not gonna play I'm not gonna play the game And let's say I put it here and I enlarge it, I put it here and it's blocked over. Oh no, it's blocking. So, back down here. Of course, this, this, uh, like, you see how, like, the, this, this big giant square? This big, the big giant square is not what that's going to be shown. But only this right here is going to be shown for the tip ticker and other stuff, which I'll go into, a, into in, a, in a future video. See, it works really fine. Let's go auto mode. See, it works perfectly fine. But we'll do one more game. A game. Yeah, never just quit. <laughs> I know I did that. Go to one more game if I have one. We'll go into Tales of Asphoria. Because the Tales games, you cannot stream using the Twitch app on the consoles. For some reason, the Tales games will not let you. So, we'll go Tales of Asphoria. I already have a scene set up for this, one, for this game. But I'm just showing how it works. Again, network quality problems. Say, Bad Day, Knock and Call. Entertainment. Project Asporia, Cryoware, let's see, it's just all that. You see how it works fine, but I'll try to go through a little bit of, I mean, I, I won't go through a little bit, okay, play that. that's, a, that's, that's, that's for a stream. You see, it works fine. And uh, basically, uh, how you just and how you disconnect from uh from this, you basically go companion app. But first, let's just go back to the uh, rec screen. Just in case something pops, up. <laughs> like it's like, all right, like you're in stream still. Like, okay, guys, I'm ending. Thank you for coming. Have a great day, even night, whatever time it may be. I'll ye eat you to someone else. Not eat, eat you to someone else. I uh, wish you felt. I wish you good luck and peace out. <laughs> Stuff like that, and I end stream, and I rate someone. To to end it, you go to stop streaming, and it's 
said, and it would say, you, you, you need to stop streaming. You can just quit the application. And there you go. That's how you stream on Xbox One without using a capture card you, while using OBS Studios. If you want, I will make a video, try to make a video doing the same thing with OBS Streamlabs, Streamlabs OBS, if you guys want. I also stream at twitch.tv slash solidxsnake1029. Make sure to visit, make sure to come by and visit. I'm all, you'll always be welcomed. And there we go.